I've been painting in my gallery today on this rainy early May Saturday. And I've just been really feeling called to share that for me, I'm really going through this place of awareness of the grace that there is something so much bigger than us, than our lives here on this earth, and then our families and the thoughts of who we are and all our history. There's so much greater than that. And there is such a source, such a wellspring of protection and love out there that I feel so deeply with. And we're playing my wonderful Tibetan music right now by Tensing Sewong, so it really is an arising thought. But also because I've been painting a painting that I did a number of years ago called um, Wings of Grace. And I really did some collaboration with Linda Kavlin Popoff, who was a dear friend. She used to live on Salt Spring, and we did a lot of really fun collaborations together. She is the founder of The Virtues Project, and The Virtues, as you know, are sayings and words that hold us to our highest accountability. So words like patience and love and friendliness and community and dignity and diligence. These are all words that um, she really framed into a whole foundation called The Virtues Project. She and her brother um, John and uh, Dan, her husband, and I worked with Linda on quite a few projects. She was a personal friend. I painted the painting Wings of Grace because at that time I was deeply immersed in the Virtues Project with Linda. And I had recently been in Italy and I was in a little museum that I just kind of stumbled across in Florence. And it was so exquisite, it had the most gorgeous statues and um, art that has had a lot of winged characters. And I really felt this state of grace. And here I am enhancing a canvas for a client today. And um, it's Wings of Grace. And I really, really plunged into the state of what that was for me when I initially painted it, what arises for me today as I'm enhancing it and working, layering over top of this large canvas for this client, together with playing this amazing Tibetan Bon music that just brings one into a very, very heightened, deep, higher state of being. And I just wanted to say that this state of grace, I believe, is just within the reach for everyone. And today it's really in my reach because probably of the music, probably the memories of this painting and my work with Linda, with the Virtues Project. And also innately because I believe that's who I am, just as I believe that's who you are. And so as we are still in different forms of isolation, to realize that there is something so much greater than us that is there for us, that is always there for us, that can answer for us and to be within reach to have conversation with. And I, I think that um, it's such a blessing to have that realization. And I wanted to share this with you. So if you have a chance, um, have a look at that painting, Wings of Grace, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And one of the things on that painting that's really interesting is there's a lot of written words embedded in it. Um, yes, words of virtue, but also um, my saying. I developed a motto. Linda and I did a lot of work together finding a motto as she was working and forming her foundation, The Virtues Project, and I was at the beginning of my business, so we're talking 28 years ago or 30 years ago, 
um, we collaborated and we worked together to try to figure out which each of our um, mottos were. What did we want our business to be? What did we want the creative endeavors that was our heart calling? What was that umbrella? And so for me, that umbrella, those words, they, it had to come down to three words and we spent all day on this. It was fabulous to work on this. And my three words are illuminate, resonate, and embrace. And we formed a corporation, my husband and I, called Solescence Publishing. Soul, meaning sun, essence. I wanted it to be the essence of the sun. Something with so much strength, so much power, so much light that I wanted to always answer to that, that, that this um, business that we were creating would have that huge foundation of being held. And um, so we incorporated calling Solescence Publishing and on a lot of my work on my art cards, often I have my motto, illuminate, resonate, and embrace. So I really believe the power of words are incredibly, incredibly strong. And um, I think that they can permeate beyond um, a forgotten awareness of them. They, they become cellular and um, I always feel that I am being called to this, to be embracing in the work that I do, in the clients that I meet, in this the arising of the inspiration for the subject that I'm painting, that I always shed light on it through illumination and that I really rest within the deepest place of the light in my heart. And um, so the illuminate, the resonate, for me is resonating with this higher purpose of what I've always felt I've been called to. And so those are the three words with my motto, worked with Linda, and she worked with for hers, and that would be for her to share. But um, I really um, use these words and feel these words um, resonate inside me when I do take these moments to paint in my studio and I always feel very called to that higher purpose when I'm engaged with my business and in my whole life so fun to share with you this place of grace because it is a place of grace that um, one can rest in when we talk about um, these very things that are the essence of our heart. So this is a rainy Saturday afternoon on Salt Spring Island. <laughs>